working in surface and uh, wireframe design we are using the generative shape design environment of ktia v5 let us have a look at uh, wireframe how exactly we work with the wires or i will say wireframe entities and uh, how much effectiveness this particular approach has basically wireframe is uh, your point line entities when you want to create your model when you want to create your design using points and lines when you want that to be controlled by points and lines only then it is actually a wireframe modeling approach again for the similar complex shapes or the critical shapes which are difficult and more time consuming to be created using part design environment for those types of shapes we use wireframe design or wireframe modeling when you will be able to create your wireframe then you will use surfaces with that and you will make it a single surface or a closed surface and finally you will have to use the same features to convert that into solid wireframe separately wireframe you cannot use it it will help you along with surfaces again for the critical or complex shape let's have a example just for the understanding of wireframe how exactly it works and how it makes our modification very easy because this is the most important part of your cat tools it should be easy to modify i should not go for uh, multiple terms or multiple steps while modifying my object whatever i have created uh, for the wireframe we have separate toolbar available in which we have some tools available just for an introduction uh, i'll show you one model say i'm going for defining the point so uh, i'll go for a point uh, yes using coordinates i will be defining say i am defining the point somewhere at 100 comma 0 comma 0 so over here i have one point another point uh, i will define at uh, 0 comma 0 comma say 30 over here and another point i will define say um, 0 no not 0 uh, it is 20 comma 30 comma 0 somewhere here so like this i have defined three points now uh, what i will be doing i will be creating the lines to join these points so i will go for line again uh, all these things are going into geometrical set why because uh, first thing it is our uh, reference entities uh, second thing uh, all these things are not part of your sketch these are 3d elements the, these are not part of any sketch so this is how i'll be creating the lines i'll be joining these points sorry like this now i can i can hide the points required i have these three lines available the and these three lines have actually created a closed loop so what i will be doing i will be uh, filling up this closed loop using a feature fill i'll select it i'll select the loops or the lines like this and i'll say okay so you have a 
surface available the surface is completely dependent on points and lines only if i'll make any changes in the coordinates of point 1 point 2 and point 3 the shape of surface will get modified then uh, on this surface uh, i'll apply the transformation feature transformation feature named as uh, symmetry over here sorry uh, this is translate yeah uh, in this transformation toolbar we have the feature available symmetry so i'll select this i'll apply symmetry like this and i say okay so now i have two surfaces available one this one another one is this one what i can do to make these two as a single surface one thing is i can directly apply a trim on, on that but again uh, these two surfaces are not crossing each other though you can apply it and you will get the result but for that as well we have one feature available named as join i'll select join select the first surface select the sur second surface these two surfaces are actually at the same level at, uh, joining with each other so i will say okay now this is my single surface to the single surface uh, i'll again select it go for symmetry about this plane and say okay so again you have two surfaces again i'll go for join first surface second surface and say okay now i have this single surface available with me okay to this single surface say i'll go for pattern circular pattern circular pattern complete crown type i'll select uh, say five entities i want and about the axis check the result within hardly 2 to 3 minutes i am able to create this and if i am following the accurate dimensions uh, the calculative dimensions for point 1 point 2 and point 3 i will be able to get this one as a complete closed loop and finally what i can do is i can convert this into solid this is what we have to do regarding further modifications let's say let's change the coordinates for point 1 double click on this instead of 100 i want it to be 120 update it changing the coordinates for point 2 we had defined over here say i want it to be 20 you can see changed updated point 3 hmm like this you can update it any time you want similarly say to the point 1 i will apply a feature revolve i want point 1 to be revolved about uh, z axis and it will be 360 degree so you can see i have a curve available normal to this curve i will take a plane at this location i have the plane available to this plane i will create a sketch i'll change the projection point to point 1 say okay this thing might uh, remind you the feature we have used in part design feature was named as a rib and slot we have used that feature we we were creating a plane normal to your curve and then that curve was following the particular path hmm. the similar feature we have for surfaces sweep i'll select sweep profile uh, this is the profile reference curve this is the reference curve and i'll say okay you can see you, you will you will get the results very easily further modification is also easy everything is within a time span of 2 to 3 minutes this has made our work very easy the same thing if you will try to do with the part design yes you can do this but uh, it might take more time also 
further modification might be difficult in that case so this was all about your uh, wireframe just an introduction further details will be available